Okay, now I'm going to restore the, the configuration of this wavelength uh, wavelength extender. If you, for example, want to reset it as a uh, manufacturer settings, uh, you just have to press this uh, reset button for 10 seconds and it will clear out the existing configuration. Uh, I already hook up everything. The I hook up the POA. This is connected to the to the POA port, and this one is the power supply, and this one will be connected to our router router later. But as of now, we want to load this one with our existing backup uh, file, so we don't need to configure from the beginning. This is like a quick uh, configuration settings. So once you powered up this the this the wavelength, no. you will have the AC wavelength AC and wavelength A wavelength N. You can detect the laptop; it will be able to detect. So you just connect this one, wavelength, then AC, and then connect, hit connect. Okay, now connected without internet. And then we'll open our browser. Uh, the default default uh, IP address is 192.168.10.1. That is the default IP address. That's the default IP address. And then uh, the password will be a default password also. The default password. login your default password so this is empty this is no having no configuration it is pre-configured like an access point land bridge but this is uh, the pre uh, manufacturer pre pre-configured now you want to load your own uh, backup uh, configuration you just have to go to the set set up this is the first time i made this okay back up okay restore back up restore you want to load your uh, back up then currently there is no configuration i'll check first the configuration see there's no configuration here uh, pretty pretty configured this is pretty configured pretty configured everything is uh, pretty configured uh, settings it's high mm. what else we can find here network settings there is no uh, it's a set dynamic so it's actually the default settings so now we are going to load the, the backup file we have. We should have a backup file. Then you are going to have to... If you want to go back to backup the, your configuration, you will have to click this backup button. If you want to restore it, you have to click restore. Restore. Okay, okay. you <laughs> have to select the file. Okay, now choose the backup file. Okay, where is the backup file? This is my backup file. RT2880 settings. This is my backup file. Okay. Now this is now my backup file. 
Then hit restore. And you have now your back RT two eight eight zero settings. This is the back that file. This is a that file. You have to restore it. Now it will restore. Now it will start to restore. I'll just wait until it will complete the process. Okay. Oh my. God. Almost. 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 All right. Now it's hundred percent back. I think it will reboot. This one will reboot or what? You see? It's not rebooting also. Network connection is disconnected. Please check your Wi-Fi or LAN settings if you have fixed the network connection. Please press back to go to login page. Okay. I want you to go to the login page, but I think you are now disconnected since the network you are now in the, uh, the backup file is having a different network IP uh, uh, network address. So now, aha, uh -huh, this is the one. This is the name of my of my uh, the configuration of this one. This is the name now. This one. The Lima, this one, this is the name. So I'll just have to connect it again for this one. So before it's not there, before the name of this one is Weblink. Now it's this one, the Lima underscore ext 2G. There's also 5G for this one. This is the other one, the repeater. We'll discuss this one later. Later. Have to connect. Now we are connected. Now the IP address, you have to type the IP address. I remember my IP address, it's 12.150. So now. Select one, one, two, three, okay, again. So that's it. Successfully uh, entered my, uh, restored my configuration to this uh, uh, device now, to the repeater. Settings. Very nice to focus immediately. So that's it. Now my IP address was set. Starts. Uh, it was set now. This is good. All right. You can ping your uh, IP address. Yeah, it's responding. One minute, one minute, one milliseconds. It's working good. Thanks. Yeah, we have successfully restored the configuration of our backup to this uh, wavelength AC sixty six uh, six hundred. That is a uh, easy setup compared to manually configuring it. Uh, starting from the beginning thank you and this is my documentation